Hey guys, thanks for clicking into the video. In this one, we're going to be covering the printing, priming, painting, and finishing of this porcelain inspired Iron Man helmet. Please enjoy. What's going on, guys? So, before we get started, let's set up the helmet's G code for the 3D printer. In terms of the setup we use for the Iron Man helmets, we used a very similar setup for our previous Red Hood helmet we built. A link is provided in the description below, so if you want a more detailed step-by-step -step approach on how we set up this helmet, I highly recommend checking out that video. But in short, we basically tilted this helmet pretty much onto its chin. This helped us minimize using as little support as possible, provided you have the correct support angle set up in your settings. Now to point the obvious out, we print the helmet as a whole. Usually with Ironman helmets, people will often break it up into sections when printing. But for this particular build, we wanted to build the helmet as a whole unit. We will be doing more Ironman helmets in the future, however, that will be built up in sections to allow for possible mechanical movement between the helmets and the face. Overall, this helmet was very easy to print and just took under two days to build. So this build has been a bit of a passion project and our first attempt at doing something like this so there's a few tips I'm happy to share that I would have done differently and it's most likely down the line I'll do an update and an improved version of this build. We actually had to swap out the PLA filament halfway through this print as you can see from the separate colours but this is essentially what the printed file comes out as and the first thing we're going to do here is sanding it down to get a smooth finish. We started off here with a machine sander and for this helmet it was primarily open surfaces which was super handy for machine sanding since you're not too worried about small details being lost like our other builds such as the Arkham Knight or the Hellbat helmet. With the machine sander we used a 180 grit paper going over pretty much all of it to try and remove as many layer lines as possible. We're trying to make this look like porcelain or as close to it as possible which is a super smooth finish. We then went over it again with some old fashioned hand sanding for some of the parts the machine couldn't reach which I used 80 grit paper. A little pro tip here is just to wrap the sandpaper around an object to make it easier on your hands. After sanding you can see from the original print that there's a few surfaces that aren't exactly smooth or might have been where the 3D print had support attached. So to smooth these out or fill in these surfaces we use generic wood filler. For this you simply lather on a layer of the wood filler onto the areas you wish to fill or smooth out and you're better off using too much than too little with this since you'll be sanding it down. Just be sure to do it as quick as possible as the filler begins to harden as soon as it comes out. Once the wood filler had dried through we sanded it down again but this time I'm only using 400 grit because we just want to smooth it out and not remove the actual wood filler. And then after sanding this down we moved on to our first layer of primer. The one we're using here is filler primer so it'll again help with filling in lines and gaps after giving it a coat. We're using Halford's brand primer which is pretty reliable and only costs about a tenner but giving it a generous coat of this. Now I realized after giving it a coat of primer there's actually a tiny gap between where we had to change the PLAs when printing so we filled that gap with our trusty companion the wood filler before once again sanding it down with 400 grit paper. We then gave it a final coat of primer which is why it's now grey since we ran out of our first primer so slight continuity error but after this we sanded it down one final time with 400 grit for its coat of paint. For this we used arctic white spray paint, however if I was to do this again I would likely use enamel white primer paint just because for the next part since you'll be applying another paint it's easier for the surface to stick to. So 
So this whole build was inspired by one of those AI generated concepts of Marvel and Star Wars helmets and if they were porcelain or made of clay so there really wasn't anywhere I could find how to design this on pretty much the entire internet other than hand painting it which I wasn't about to do uh, but after digging for hours I managed to find transfer ink paper of which I ordered a few sheets of this and this is where I messed up a little bit but you can learn from my mistakes. So after cutting out pieces, I would wet the surface to have it stick onto it and apply it on top, but I actually couldn't find any YouTube videos of how to apply transfer ink paper, so I thought wetting it from one side and wetting it from the other would be sufficient, but it wouldn't transfer correctly, so I thought about those fake tattoos you had as a kid and how surely they'd be the same concept as transfer ink, and I realized what I was missing was applying the pressure. So you can see the first few attempts here when I'm applying the ink, it's not accurately coming out on the other side, but in the later front parts you'll see where I apply the pressure, it actually applies applies more accurately. But overall for this part I cut out a few designs and threw them on where I thought they'd look nice and then I used a heat gun after applying it to force it to dry quicker so it wouldn't leak or smudge. And here's where I came to the realization that I had to apply pressure to the paper for it to transfer properly and you can see just how much better it transfers over with less smudging or blurring so make sure you're applying pressure if you're planning to recreate this. We then hand painted on some ultramarine blue acrylic paint to add a little more colour and detail before finally giving it a coat of clear semi-gloss finish to give it a bit more shine to make it look more porcelain. So there you have it, the finished porcelain inspired Iron Man helmet. I'll probably end up doing a remastered version of it in the coming months. So like, share and subscribe to keep up to date with that and thanks for watching.